Here I'd like you to focus on your shoulders, not so much your traps, but your shoulders, specifically your delts. As you're lifting the arms up to about shoulder height, I want you to think of exhaling and contracting your core using again, primarily the tops of the shoulders. For a six point delt raise, I highly recommend using a weight that is pretty light. So here I'm holding just fives and it gets hard real quick. So make sure you're starting off with something light, even two and a half would be perfect. If you have any shoulder injuries, you could be using no weight at all and just going through these six points. When you're going through this, I do want you to make sure that you're anchored down so that the core is somewhat braced, you're breathing, and the neck is staying nice and long. Here I'd like you to focus on keeping the elbows at a 90 degree angle, using your rhomboids to squeeze the shoulder blades back in together, but while doing so, keeping the core active so that the ribs don't flare out to the front. Think of exhaling as you open up, inhale back to the center, core is mildly braced. Starting in an arch up position, you wanna make sure that you're not feeling any pinching in the low back. If you are, I highly recommend trying to think of creating length through the tailbone. As you start off in the overhead position, you're gonna retract the shoulder blades and actively pull down. A visual that helps me quite a bit is to think that I'm pulling down on a bar or bands, and sometimes I'll even actually grab for them. Exhale as you pull down, inhale as you reach back up overhead. L-sit dumbbell shoulder press. Sitting in an L position, you wanna think of minimizing any movement throughout the rest of the body. As you're pressing overhead, you wanna exhale, bracing your core. As you pull the weights back down with control, you're inhaling. If you have a hard time sitting in this position, you can sit up on a block. Please begin this move by retracting the shoulders. Once you are in a retracted position, please try to stay there. You'll be alternating as you row the dumbbells up one at a time. Think of drawing the elbow up close by the sides of the ribs and then almost as if it's going to tag a line behind you um, right above your spine. Dumbbell 21s involve a three position dumbbell curl. Shown here, the first position is the bottom half. So you're curling from a straight arm up to just 90 degrees. I want you to focus on using your biceps and not putting this into your neck or any other part of your body. The next position is from halfway up to the shoulders. You've got to really make sure that you put the brakes on at that halfway point so that you're not going below halfway each time. The last position is going to be a full range bicep curl. Again, mentally connect to your biceps. Allow this move to be done purely from the biceps keep the rest of your body out of this to the best of your ability. This is a lot of volume, so you might want to choose a lighter weight than what you are used to. Here you're going through single arm Arnold presses. So start with the palm facing you in this position right here. As you press up overhead, you're rotating the palm so it then faces away from you. You wanna to try to isolate so you're not shifting the body weight side to side. So you're anchoring down, strong core, exhale as you press up. Please begin these by coming into a retracted position. The core is braced so that the back is supported in this hip hinged or bent over position. I personally choose to use lighter weights so that I can make sure that my rear delts are doing as much of the work as possible. Anything heavier, I tend to go straight into my traps. Make sure you're breathing, exhaling as you open up. Wide curl to a medial eccentric. Start by doing a very wide dumbbell curl and then pull the weights down through the middle or a medial eccentric, eccentric being the lowering phase. If you wanna gain a little bit more strength out of this, move a little bit slower on that lowering phase. Seated single arm dumbbell snatch. For those that aren't used to snatches, all you need to really think about on this one is start with a light weight and peel the weight up along the front line of the body finishing in a strong locked out position overhead. For those that are used to snatches, this is a little different. You don't have the use of your legs. So maybe perhaps start with a lighter weight, see how you feel with it before going to a heavier weight or a weight that you are more used to. You'll begin by coming into a low lunge position. Please avoid supporting yourself on that front leg. So leave the other arm up and off to the side yet held with tension. As you're going through these rows, I want you to think of keeping the shoulder retracted, feeling it through the rear delt, the rhomboids, and your lats. 
For this movement, you will be curling a kettlebell twice with the second one catching it at the base and then going into two overhead presses. From there, releasing back down to the handles and then going back through two curls. Think of keeping the shoulders pulled back, the core is relatively braced, and having a nice fluid breath.